Today we're here with Dr. Vella and we're just going to ask him a few questions. So, Dr. Vella, we just wanted to kind of go through the typical checkup and sure. what it's all about. So this is Sammy and yep. he's a 18 month old male new to the ferret. Mm -hmm. So he's come for his annual vaccination and checkup. At this age, you know, once a year is, is probably okay. When they get a bit older, twice a year examinations are recommended. Mm -hmm. He looks good, he's been well. He's been very well. Great. I'm just mm -hmm. going to take the opportunity now while he's just a little bit new to the environment to try and listen to his chest. Is it a little bit wriggly and sometimes it's the best time to take that opportunity to do that. Do you want me to hold him or anything? Maybe just distract him at the front end. Yeah. So we're listening for his lung sounds and importantly listening to his heart. Do you want me to scrub it? That's great. That sounds very good. And then we'll just go through and, and physically examine him, try and do it in a systematic way, but it's not always not always uh, um, possible <laughs> process with some ferrets, but he's a good boy. So we'll just have a little feel of his belly. So I'm just going to pick him up from his shoulders here. And just have a little massage of his belly. We can feel it in his liver. Mm -hmm. And what exactly are you looking for? I'm just feeling to make sure that the, um, the actual organs are the right size. Okay. To make sure that they're not, he's not uncomfortable there. Yep. Uh, make sure there's no lumps and bumps. We can feel his spleen. Ferrets mm -hmm. have a very large spleen. Okay. We can feel his the region of his intestines, all the way down to his bladder. Yep. And we can also stick our fingers up under his, at the top of his abdomen here, and feel his kidney. Cool. But he's, you know, it's winter time here now, so he's obviously got a good condition on him. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd say that. <laughs> he's got a really lovely coat. Yeah. Right. So we're just going to turn him over here so I can just look at his underside. And I'm just going to look at around the area of his penis. Yep. Now ferrets have a little bone in there, so we have to have a little feel of that region. Yeah. And just have a feel around back here. Make sure his anal glands aren't... Uh, over oversized. Okay. I'm going to feel his lymph nodes. He's got lymph nodes at the back of his knees. Yeah. In between the back of his legs. It's pretty hard for you to see what I'm doing here, but I'm feeling him because he's such a big ferret. <laughs> feeling underneath his armpits. Feeling in front of his shoulders, and also underneath his jaw here. Okay. That's great. And I'm just going to have a good look at his coat. And he hasn't had any problems with fleas or anything like that yeah, recently? I don't think so, but we might need to get some revolution today yeah. and just pop it on. So you, you're giving him monthly revolution mm -hmm. for heartworm prevention? Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. So what we do now is we're going to look at his face. It's always a bit hard to look at that area of ferrets. They're yeah. a bit wriggly. So what we do is usually scruff them a little bit. And if they're used to being scruffed, I'll do the scruffing yeah. for him so I can have a look. Okay. If they're used to being scruffed, they, um, they usually stay very still for us. So I usually just, just push him down onto the table. Just grab some hair at the back of his face. So they usually yawn when they do that, so that's great. It gives me a good look inside his mouth. Mm -hmm. And um, that's a natural reaction. It's a natural they reaction they do, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's just doing that again then. Just being very careful not to put your fingers in there because he will latch on. <laughs> and I can just lift up his lips a little bit and just examine his, especially his top teeth. Yeah. Just a very small amount of, of um, tartar or calculus mm -hmm. building up, yeah. but it's very, very small. Is he's there anything that you can do for that? Yeah, certainly dietary things, and I'll go through mm -hmm. some dietary things shortly, but mm -hmm. I'm just looking to make sure his, his teeth aren't fractured. They often fracture those um, main canine teeth. They're mm -hmm. not fractured there. Mm -hmm. I can look in his ears and his eyes. I've got an uh, ophthalmoscope to look in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Once he stops yawning, if you could just support the, the back end there for me. Thank you. I'm going to have a look in the eyes there. Good. And good. And looking in his ears, I mean, you're using the revolution, so he's unlikely mm -hmm. to have any ear mites there, but sometimes we'll take a sample of the wax. Yep. But we don't really need to do that today. He's got, okay. Obviously, you've been cleaning those. Yep. Yeah, I can see that. They're mm -hmm. very clean. Mm -hmm. um, so he looks great. And what I'll do, too, is well, take the opportunity just to have another feel. Look at his feet and his nails while he's nice and quiet there. And then we'll mm -hmm. let him back on, onto his feet. There you go. No yeah. hard feelings. <laughs> And then we'll try and get his body weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just let that, that uh, scale zero there. He's a bit chubby these days, aren't you? See how much he weighs and compare that to last time. 1.3 kilos, 1.28 kilos. That's great. Excellent. So that's, that's a basic examination there of a ferret. Fantastic. Thank you very much for You're that. You're welcome.
to help you.